better not bite me. I will touch you if you bite me. I'm telling you right now. My shirt does not look like grass. Guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about one of our projects, Rhino Iguanas. We currently have um, more than a dozen females, I think. And uh, we wanted to go really big into Rhino Iguanas. And the reason being is because this is Rex. I've had Rex now close to 25 years. He's my boy. My kids love him, I love him. Now he's very, very tame because we've raised him to be such, but he's still a wild animal, so I'm careful with him. Now this is his girlfriend, Rosie. This is his third wife he's had in 25 years. The other ones have met with bad things. Watch, watch how she is. She doesn't like me, like most women. So, rhino iguanas. Rhino iguanas come from the West Indies. This one here, according to some experts, comes from an island in Puerto Rico called the Mona Island. He has specific bumps and counts and all that. They come from uh, the Dominican Republic area, some even through Haiti. Somebody has red shoelaces. <laughs> yeah. Rosie really likes to eat, especially when she's pregnant. <laughs> really, really nice animals. They are born from eggs and they start out about 10 to 12 inches and they are omnivores. They really like a lot more meat when they're younger. They go to more vegetables, but they never really lose their taste. He loves eating. Uh, some of his favorite foods are greens. You put a big pile of greens in, he'll sit there and eat them. His favorite fruit is plums. This thing could eat plums. And there's nothing more satisfying than pulling off the dry shed off of his spikes. It's like, it's like picking a booger you've had in your nose for too long that's been bothering you. Oh, it's so comforting. And he doesn't seem to mind it either. Look at him. He loves him some plums. We put in plums and apples. We also put in sweet potato. I'll grind up a bunch of sweet potato and put them in there. He loves them. He also does like, he loves superworms. You can throw in superworms, he'll eat them. Currently we feed him three to four times a week. They're really, really nice animals. If you're looking for a really good pet, you have to have a lot of space though because you're talking about an animal that's gonna get in excess of four foot. But they stay small for the first couple of years. Outside enclosure is fine if you live in a tropical area like Florida or, or South Texas or or Southern California or something like that. But if you have a nice big indoor enclosure, they do quite well. You need heat. They want to be basking in the 90s and they definitely need lots of ultraviolet because they got big thick bones and they are prone to metabolic bone disease if you don't take care of them right. I have a couple of dogs that really like Rex and I have a couple that really hate Rex. Rex likes all my dogs except for one particular black dog. You can see that video out there. Again, if you're looking for a great pet, look no further than a rhinoceros iguana, Cyclora cornuda. <laughs>